We are updating the API level we are supporting in terms of direct target. We are doing this in advance of the deadline for Google Play Store application submission, which is in August 2024. What is different now is that the target SDK version in the manifest is now set to 34. But of course, it's not only that, but making sure that all of the tool chain and all of the libraries work smoothly with um, this new version. The reality is that this change required a lot of extra work and a lot of change to the tool chain we are using for building, packaging, and deploying apps for Android. So the change required updates to the Android SDK. In turn, requires updates to the Java runtime version we are using. We introduced new Android platform tools, made improvements to the packaging process, making it faster and smoother. And also we updated the user's permissions. For example, we now make it directly available, permissions like the text screen capture and foreground services. Let me explain this a bit more. We have updated the version of the JDK to 17. In particular, we are installing with Rust Studio Eclipse Tamarind JDK, the OpenJDK 17 hotspot JVM. We are installing new command line tools, partially from the SDK and partially outside of the SDK that are being installed with uh, Rust Studio directly. We have improved the Android packaging, the DAX operation, what is called DAX compilation and DAX merging, are now incremental. That means you don't have to rebuild the app completely, but we can inject new features into an existing app. We use a new command line tool called Dexer. We use, we move to using Google AAPT tool for packaging to AAPT2, which uh, allows more control in the process. Alongside, we are adding new packaging project options. Also, because we are using different tools for compression and signing, zip flinger and sign flinger, you should see a noticeable performance increase in the generation of APK files. Let me show this in practice, although I have to be honest, it doesn't show that obviously in terms of output because most of the tools are used really behind the scenes. This is a very simple one button application for configure for Android, but of course you can target any of the other platform that FireMonkey and Delphi support. In this case, I have very simple code behind the scenes. What I can do here is simply compile this application locally as usual, or I can also package it and deploy to the Android phone that's visible on the side of the screen. So I can do deploy, but I can just do run and that's going to package, rebuild package and deploy the application to the device and it will start the application immediately. So this is now the application running. And of course, if I click on the button, it just shows me the message. Very simple process, fully integrated, but it is a brand new set of operations that we are doing. And if we open the output messages, you can see some of the steps that are performed as part of the new tool chain, including invoking AAPT2 multiple times and some of the other tools that are required for the application packaging and the various uh, steps needed for building and deploying the application to the device. So why this new support for Android API level 34 matters to you? There are two things that are relevant. One, we are supporting a future Google requirements for the store ahead of the deadline imposed by Google. And second, we have made packaging app and deploying them on Android better, faster, and using the same exact tools that are provided as the platform tools in Android Studio. Mm -hmm.